Nobody likes losing their hair, and year after year, I could see that my hair was getting thinner and thinner. So I just started uh, searching out, trying to find a solution to the problem. I'm so happy I found JA because uh, they are the answer. Uh, nobody really knows uh, until they see this commercial. <laughs> but uh, no, it's uh, it. People are usually when they do find out, they're they're shocked and they, or they don't believe it. I am hands-on. I'm not in the field all the time, but the times I am, it, uh, it's proven itself uh, very well. It, you know, it's a personal decision for everyone, and, and I'm certainly glad I found JA. From that first day that you walk out, you just go, wow, uh, I'm glad I did this. I went, Rob has one of the most soft, subtle looks of just about any of our models that we've seen today. Yeah, I think, I think what is the main reason for that is the color blending. Not only the beautiful quality of hair, as we mentioned, but also the color blend. He's got such thick, beautiful hair, yeah, the wavy hair. Absolutely. But again, the silkiness, the, the lushness of this hair, that's European hair. That's absolutely. Yeah, I've practiced law as a trial attorney for about 25 years, and a major part of it is standing in front of people. You want to make sure you look your best. So one of the first things, of course, that a jury looks at is you, and you're standing there, they automatically look, look right at your hair to see, first of all, is it combed? And then, uh, especially in Manhattan, they, they can spot right away whether or not it's real. So it's important that it be something that I would feel comfortable with, uh, I wouldn't be self-conscious about it, that I could go into court in the morning and know that I looked my best. In my early to mid-20s, I started seeing a thinning pattern of baldness on top of my head and also the crown. So I contemplated whether the, you know, to try hair replacements, and I saw J.A.'s commercial. The day I made an appointment with J.A., I wind up getting the, the product the same day. And ever since then, I've been 110% happy with it. I wanted to talk about really short haircuts. Guys love them. You see a lot of great short haircuts out there. But when it comes to a hair replacement, there's a lot of things to remember when you really want to go nice and tight and close and short on your own hair. Erwin, let's talk about short hair and what you need to know about it. Well, if you want to cut really short hairstyles, you have to have a few things in mind when creating a hair replacement. You have to have the right density. You never can put more hair on top right. than you actually have on the sides. It is always a very unnatural appearance. Mm -hmm. You also have to have the right growing direction. That means the, right, the hair has to be in the right direction. Let's take a look. When you take a look at the EHK, you can see that, that the hair is hugging mm -hmm. around the head. That means it is directed in a natural male grow pattern. And that's the way people's hair grow, right? Exactly. They grow down and close. Exactly. And mm -hmm. you can see again, let me point this out, when you go in, when you go in from, the, from the top, it goes in all directions. Mm -hmm. That is how a man's hair, hair grow pattern is. Mm -hmm. It's really going from the crown in all directions. That allows right. us to cut the hair really short without getting some weird kind of movement going yeah, on. Yeah, all the detail. When I'm in the gym, I do a lot of heavy power type movements, squats, presses, cleans, um, stuff that really can take a toll on your appearance. Um, and I'm always confident that my hair is going to move right along with me, look very natural. I do a lot of cardio as well. I run on the treadmill, use the elliptical machine a lot. You work up a really, really great sweat. And again, my hair, you can see right through it. Um, when it looks wet, it looks completely natural, and it really is an important uh, part of my training, really. It, it makes me feel confident in the gym. Erwin, I love this hair. Steve has thick, beautiful hair. Yes, and we would like to keep it that way. Because if somebody has wonderful hair left all around, we want to replace and want to really give him back what he had. You need really beautiful, silky, slightly wavy, soft moving hair. And that's what we get this EHK hair. That's right. And you're not going to really get that with just any type of hair. No. That's important to mention. The softness, the silkiness, the lushness of this hair, it's just its just gorgeous. You really want to get your hands in it. <laughs> you do. And I think we made you very happy with it. Very happy. Haven't we? Great. <laughs> you know, there, there are times, well, many times as a teacher, you feel like you're on stage five times a day. And uh, children can be uh, very critical. And, and one of the things that happens, uh, I've been teaching now for 29 years. The, uh, the students in front of me, uh, they remain the same age, and I get older each year. I, I saw the infomercial, and my wife knew for some time that I wanted to do something. And uh, we were sitting there watching this, and she said, you know, I, I called her in. I said, look at this. This looks pretty good. And she said, yeah, it does. And she said, you might as well call. And it was really a big step, you know, to, to make that call. And I'm glad that I did. Now, let me ask you something. 
the materials that we're using in the HK, are they the same materials that you use on your Hollywood stars? Yes. On the most famous stars in Hollywood, they have on, the same product? On the, yes, on the most famous <laughs> stars in Hollywood. Wow, thank you. And the end results are quite spectacular. Well, see, yes. Well, the one thing about losing my hair that bothered me the most um, was probably when I went outside and it was windy out and raining out. Um, I kind of walked with my head down because uh, I was embarrassed that my hair would blow back. If I didn't do this, I probably would feel twice my age and I would probably be embarrassed to go out and see high school friends. Now with my new hair, um, I actually have no problem going out and meeting people and um, I actually look forward to seeing people from high school and see what they actually look like because I look better. My wife is very supportive of me. Uh, she knows I'm very self-conscious and um, I was spending probably a half hour in the morning in the mirror trying to comb my hair down. Um, and actually, you know, a matter of fact, uh, she came with me to JA. She actually started crying. That looked so good. So I signed up right then and there. At JA Alternatives, we've always been noted for our natural work in the hairline. But with EHK, we've taken it to a whole new level. Um, with Irwin's expertise, his secrets, we've been able to get the most natural work possible. Well, I mean, what came in with me is 20 years of experience working for big screens. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no place to hide. Yeah. I mean, everything is blown up gigantically, yeah. so every little imperfection is going to show. When I designed the EHK, of course, I had these things in mind. I really went in and softened the hairline by using really a very fine, soft hair so the knot really vanishes by itself. Yeah. Also, the color blending goes to a softer color so it really vanishes, especially on dark hair going to a lighter skin. You know, there's nothing we can do really wrong to this hair. And, you know, we have a pretty good looking model. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> This hair is gorgeous. It's a perfect blend. But I think that is because of the origin of the hair. The origin of yes, the hair. Yes, absolutely. You have to be very careful that a hair replacement has the same kind of texture like the person who wears it. Makes sense. May I ask you, George, what your heritage is? Yeah, I'm Greek. Okay, well, there's the explanation. Greek is Europe. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we have. Really luscious hair, shiny, moving, I very soft. I have to brush soft. it. I have you to can brush it. Just, just And it like moves by itself. Look at this hair. So you don't Ooh. have to be afraid when wind blows or something. No. Not no, at all. No. Not at all. I'm, I'm just, I'm doing this without a mirror, just, no. you know, with nothing in the hair, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's just, oh. It's the shininess, it's the lift, it's the movement, and it's the fact that you don't have to do a lot to this hair. No. You know, what am I doing? I'm not doing any heavy styling. I don't put a lot of products no. in it. You actually can, Jane, you actually can use your fingers. Go ahead. If somebody wants to play with the hair, they can do things like this and the hair does it all by itself. There you go. Because it is, it is simply there, you know, it's hair alive, that's what it is. Works for me. Okay, we're here with Heath and I think he's got a pretty active job. That's probably an understatement uh, that your job is fairly on the <laughs> active side, huh? Yes, it is. And you wear your hair very short, which I happen to love, but tell me, how difficult is it to make a hair replacement look this good this short? It is actually very difficult because you cannot only focus on the hairline, you have to focus also on the crown. If you're cutting that short, you have to make sure that there is a male grow pattern, like real hair grows one by one, going from the highest point of the crown in all direction. So mm -hmm. it really hocks the head, so you're really able to cut it short without having any stick out or some separations or something like this. This is very important that mm -hmm. you're cutting that short. It is. Heath, what do you think? You like wearing your hair short? I like wearing my hair short, um, especially in the summertime. It's um it's real cool that way. Uh, it's also police department regulation to wear your hair short. So <laughs> well, thank God you look good in it That's also important. Thank <laughs> he does. You. He looks terrific with thank short you. hair and growth pattern, the way EHK yes. is made, that's how we get it to look so good. Well, in my occupation, because I, I teach radio and television, naturally I want to look as good as I possibly can on camera, but it also has to do with the confidence that you have. My wife and I are very social people. We love to be out, we love to go to dinner, we like to tour, we like to walk around, and we just like to be together. I always feel comfortable with hair, and I always feel that I look my best with hair. And that's important to me, and it's also very important to my wife as well. Looking my best gives me the confidence that I need. When I look at myself in the mirror without hair, I feel much older, uh, I seem to look much older. Remember, it's, it, it's your life. And you want to look as good as you possibly can, not only for yourself, but for your spouse or your family. What I want to talk to you about, Erwin, is the color 
gray. Gray hair and its complexities in working with gray. How do you achieve a more natural result when you work with gray hair? Well, by taking a look what the client's natural hair color is. Somebody, for example, has really beautiful, rich, dark brown hair. Mm -hmm. These people usually gray into a wonderful silver gray. Mm -hmm. In Dave's case, he was a blondish guy. You see it on the complexion and everything. It gets a much more softer ivory gray. So we have to consider these things. Mm -hmm. What kind of gray are we going for to match the skin to match the existing gray. And it's even more important to do the details when you're working with a thinner, lighter hair replacement. I think we did a beautiful job on him. I'm very happy. You're happy? Good. My appearance is very important, uh, being a professional, a uh, doctor of chiropractic, because patients uh, judge you from every angle. Um, they base everything on an image also. And um, I want to look very professional. Uh, I want to look very healthy, um, look young also. You know, how I feel and about myself is very important and having a lot of confidence also gives me a lot of confidence with patients. Well, I just got married and uh, my wife, she absolutely loves it. And she has also helped me out a lot as far as with the style and the cut. And she's very into style and fashion, so. Never shaved my head before because it just wouldn't look good on me. I thought about it because I thought that was my only option. My hair gives me a little more detail as far as my facial features. If somebody asked me, um, if they should get a hair replacement, I would absolutely say 100%. Um, no doubt about it. I am really happy to have Randy, who consented to be a model. Thank you. Erwin, explain why this looks so beautiful. Because it is very, very natural hair. It's European hair, but comes in different colors. Hardly chemically processed, so we still have almost the full integrity of a natural growing hair. One hair at a time technology gives it the movement that we're looking for, and of course, the soft, Beautiful blonde color is because we're using European.